What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we are back with some more Georgia Southern Dynasty. And we have finally nailed our last recruit, Walter Williams, 6'1, 205 pound, received out of Tennessee, out of Memphis, Tennessee. He is a four star recruit, and we just have a great receiving core, and hopefully he can add to it. The top 25 looks like this Miami is ranked number one, followed by Ole Miss that jumps from six to number two, Penn State from seven to number three, and Washington from eight to number four. So a lot of movement in the top five. Nebraska's in the top five. Then you got Michigan at number six. They move up from number 10. Virginia, they lost to Georgia Tech. They go from three to seven. Texas AM, they lost to Nebraska, going from four to 10. And then Oklahoma, they won. And then Iowa. They were ranked number two in the nation. Not no more. They lost to Minnesota. They dropped back to 12. South Carolina, they lose to Florida. They go from 9 to 13. We move up by 6. We were number 20. Last week when we took on West Virginia, we move up to number 14. Going to be taking on Florida State, who is coming off of a loss. Their third loss of the season. They were ranked number 5. Now they're ranked number 17. So a lot of movement, like I said, in the top five and in the rest of the top 25 polls. You also got Texas Tech losing last week, Washington State losing last week, Alabama losing last week, Cal losing last week, and all those teams are still somehow in the top 25. We are still second in the Heisman hopeful list. We are a top five candidate with John Smith. He's had himself a fantastic season of 59 receptions, 1487, 17 touchdowns, and I believe he added on one on the ground last week. So that is a good look for him. But the receiver for Miami got more reception. So maybe we got to force feed our man the ball. We're not going to do that. We play to win the game, Herm Edwards. All right. We're ranked number 14. They're ranked number 17. They have have a better history than we do but we might be the better team for this season and that's all that matters it's Florida State it's Georgia Southern let's get right into the madness all right we're gonna kick this one off they're gonna get the football first that's gonna be James Brooks from his own goal line and the receiver is going to work his way up to about the 20-yard line. Make it past the 20 to the 24-yard line. Now Bracken looking downfield. He's going to throw that thing deep. Looking for Brooks. And that pass will be broken up by Mike Wilson. So Rashad Bracken going to drop back the pass on second down and 10. Going to go deep again. And this pass is going to be broken up by Jackson. So they test this deep on back-to-back -back plays. Now they have to throw it here on third down. Looking for Chris Malone. Makes the catch, but he is shy of the first down. Three straight pass plays and no first downs to show for us. So we're going to take over. Going to try to establish the ground game. It is raining out there, so you know the football can be slippery when wet. We're going to run that thing with Campbell. He's going to pick up a first down, and that's a nice way to kick off our drive. The drive continues. Four more looking downfield. That pass caught by John Smith. Gets away from one. Gets away from another in a third. 20-10-5. He has reservations for six. Touchdown, John Smith on a 66-yard touchdown reception. A beautiful pass, a beautiful play design, and we have the early lead. Face mask on that kick return, going to make it up to the 25-yard line. That pass going to be caught by James Marshall, and their running back gets loose for a first down. They still haven't ran the ball just yet. They're going to go back to there, their fifth straight pass play. Caught by Brooks. James Brooks splits the defense. And they're in Eagles territory with a gain of 17 from the 45. Bracken steps up, gets rocked. That pass caught by Taylor. And number 13 is going to have his first reception for a gain of six. Looking downfield is Bracken. That pass broken up by Chester Anderson. They're trying to find the big fullback. Bracken to the left side, throws it, and that pass is overthrown. They're going to have to go for it on fourth and four. Now they run the football. And look at James Marshall. Weaving through traffic like your mama knew hairdo and gets this one up to the 15-yard line. First down in 10. They throw it underneath, and that pass is off the mark. Second down in 10. Their second run play. Here's going to go backwards as Jeff Sims, who could be up for some All-American honors, gets in there for the TFL. Bracken has time. Throws it to the corner of the end zone. Jeff Sims with tight coverage, and that pass will fall incomplete. FSU got to set up for a field goal. The kick is up. And the kick is good. So Florida State is on the scoreboard with three. We're up 7-2-3 as Taiwan Alfred out there breaking ankles as he works it up to the 21-yard line. First and 10. Get the ball to Ashton Smith who has room. 30, 35, 
And out of bounds at the 40-yard line with a gain of 19 in his back pocket. That's a nice way to have your first carry. We're going to run the ball with Smith again. And Ashton Smith, second carry, ends in a disaster. A fumble. And Morris is there for the recovery. And now Rashad Bracken going to fire that thing. And that pass will be dropped. Second down and 10. Bracken dropping back off, off his back foot. Let's a fly. And that pass broken up by Wilson intended for James Brooks. Third down and 10 from the 39. Bracken to the left side. Caught by Brooks. Forced out of bounds by, by Ford. And they're going to set up for a field goal. The kick is up. And the 47 yarder is good. So Florida State tacks on another field goal. Going to make it 7 to 6. Just a one point lead for the GSU Eagles. We're going to run the ball with Campbell. He gets smacked as he crosses the line of scrimmage for a gain of two. From the 22, now we give it to him again. Weaving through traffic, drag down from behind. That's Ferguson. John Ferguson, the defensive end, rocket number one. Going to fire this one deep. Caught by Ian Clark. Welcome back. He's been out the past four weeks with a broken hand, but he seems to be all healed up, and he's catching that rock beautifully. First down and 10. Our formation. Going to run the ball with Campbell. Campbell. Looking to pick up the first down, but John Ferguson is there to lay the lumber after a pickup of eight. Second down and two off of our back foot. We throw it awkwardly. It's tipped and then picked by Larkins. And Larkins, fighting for every inch of the return, finally gets dragged down at the 35-yard line. So Andrew Larkins with the pick, and now FSU takes back over the run play that James Marshall goes nowhere. It takes a squad to bring him down, but we do so as he picks up nothing. Stiff arm. But then he gets tattooed. A huge hit. He got away from one impact player just to run into another. And Chester Anderson was there to lay the lumber. And now Anderson gets some pressure on the quarterback. And that forces a bad pass. And Wilson is there for the interception. He has a couple of pass breakups. And now tack on that interception. And we got this thing going back the other way. Smith to the outside. You know, Matrusha, he has the football in his hands. And... Picks up a nice game. One second to go here in the first quarter. Going to run the ball with Justin Battle, the fastest running back on the roster. And that's going to end the first quarter of play. So we're going to spread things out. Five receivers in the formation. We could still run the ball, so FSU got to be alert to that. But we throw the ball deep, and it's caught by Clark. And I think it was intended for Smith. But Clark, hey, welcome back. You got a touchdown. Let's do this thing. We have another touchdown up on the board. It is now 14-6. to six. They're going to go to toss play, half that pass, and yo, James Brooks makes the catch. James Marshall puts that thing on a dot, and Campbell's a little bit shaking up. Hopefully it's not too serious. Bracken fires it, caught by James Marshall, and that's going to result in a gain of six. Going to the air, Bracken going to find Cameron Taylor, brought down by Aaron Flowers, and that's the first down. So Florida State starting to heat up, and then it's time to cool them off. That's Marcus, who's in for... Campbell, who got shaken up a few plays ago, he makes his impact felt with the TFL. That pass falls incomplete, and now it's third down of 15. We'll send the blitz. We're not going to get there. Man, oh, man, coverage got beat. Cameron Taylor got away from Flowers. He's in the end zone, and Florida State is going to be down just one. So 14 to 13 is the score. Fulmer looking downfield. Sets his feet, lets it fly off of the hands of Clark. And he pays the price coming across the middle. The safety was waiting for him. Smith makes one guy miss, trying to get loose. But he's going to get dropped by Marlon Nelson. Now former, looking downfield. That pass to John Smith. John Smith with a spin move. He's loose. Nothing but green grass. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Touchdown for John Smith. 21 to 13 is now the score. Cameron Taylor on the kicker turn. And he's loose. And he finally gets dragged down at the 40. It is clipping on the play, so bring it all the way back. But John Smith trying to win a Heisman. He will be in this universe as Josh Jackson is there for the inception. In this universe, he will only be the second. In reality, he will be the third receiver to win a Heisman if he can do it. Clark makes the catch right there. Again, a four. Second down and six. Four more. Looking downfield. Fires at the flan again. Overthrows him badly. Third down and six. We're going to surprise them with the run, and they're like, we are not surprised. That's a questionable call there, and we got to kick this one away. So we're up by eight, but we're back on defense. James Marshall gets the carry. He's going to weed through traffic. The ball is loose. Sims was there for the forced fumble, but nobody was there for the recovery except for the guys wearing Seminole Red. That pass will fall incomplete, 
And now it's going to be third down in inches. Single back look. They run the ball with Marshall. Breaks a tackle. Finally dragged down. First down, Seminoles from the 35 now. The Seminoles are starting to march. They can really use a big play here. They're going to take a shot deep, and it's caught by James Brooks, and that's exactly what they needed, a big play to get them inside the red zone. From the 17, that pass falls incomplete. So third down and 10 from the 17. Bracken fires it, caught by Cameron Taylor, but shy of the first down. So they got to set up for you another field goal. That's their third field goal that's up and good. And now it's 21 to 16 with a minute 03 in the clock. And to start things off with a run and the ball is loose. Smith fumbles again. So again, in the early part of the year, I thought Smith was a better back when it came to fumbling. But boy, oh boy, I might have made a mistake there. That pass falls is incomplete. Second down and 10, James Marshall. James Marshall, the freshman, is going to pick up a gain of around three. Third down and seven. They fake it to Smith, the fullback. They should have gave it to him because the quarterback is looking at that Tallahassee sky as the kick is up and the kick is good. So four field goals, one touchdown, and it's 21 to 19. So we still have a two-point lead, 44 seconds on the clock. Got to start from an old nine. You're all after a penalty. Former looking downfield. The plan again, and that pass will be broken up. Fulmer going to roll left. Going to throw it to Ryan Brown. And we're going to call the timeout. We have one left. They have one left. Third down and one. Can we keep the drive alive? John Smith is open. It's a perfect pass to him. Can he get out of bounds? They say yes, he did. 25 seconds to work with. Fulmer rolling right. Throws it into traffic. Intercepted by Silva. And that is the last thing that we wanted to do. First down and 10 and give me that Yahoo, Zay Her. I said, give me that Yahoo. Give me that user interception. We got this ball going back the other way. We avoid the rush. We're going to tuck it and run it. 40, 35, 30, 25, and out of bounds. Not quite out of bounds. We got to call our last time out with two seconds on the clock. The kick is up. The kick is good. 24 to 19. And a very, very high octane first half of football. So first down and 10 from the 17 for us. We got more yards, but we also have more turnovers, and that's why Florida State is still hanging around in this one. Smith gets the carry, because again, I'm going to trust him. He's a good running back, and all running backs, they lack stamina. So a couple of carries, I got to change it up after that. So good thing Justin Battle starting to emerge, as Battle gets the carry right there for a first down. Now we're going to run the option. Former's like, let me run the ball too, coach. Breaking ankles at the 40. Out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Move those chains. First down and 10. Under pressure, and that pass is broken up. It was John Ferguson applying the pass rush. Former going to try to run the option. Going to pitch it to Campbell. Got away from two Seminoles. And then he's going to get brought down by Alfred. Former looking downfield, and he's going to get rocked. And that pass goes straight to the grass. We got to settle for a field goal. The kick is up, and I'm going to say the win took that one. So 24-19, the score remains. Florida State has the football. Rashad trying to get loose, and he does. Gets away from Matt Brown and then chased down from behind by Marcus Lee. From the 40, James Marshall gets the carry, and he's going to get brought down by A.J. Moore. But Mike Wilson, who wasn't even involved in the tackle, is shaken up. Bracken fires it. That pass caught by Smith, and that is going to be a first down. From the 48-yard line, Bracken throws it intercepted by Flowers. The pass was intended for Chris Malone and Aaron Flowers. Like, give me all those. And we got this thing going back the other way. Gain of five by Campbell. Send him second down to five. We throw it deep. Caught by John Smith. There are about four, five, maybe six, seven O's in the area. First down and 10 from the 17. Former going to keep it. He's going to get dragged down, but he fumbles. And Nelson is there for the recovery. So just when he thought... The turnover bug had passed. Nah, it's a new variant, and it comes from the quarterback fumbling. In the round to Malone, and look out. Sims is there to tattoo him. Third down and 14. They're going to run the ball with Marshall, breaks the tackle, but he won't get away from Wilson, who's back in the ball game. We're going to get good field position after the punt. From the 37, battle, he gets the carry. Again, he's the fastest running back on the roster. Going to pick up a gain of around 10 in the first down. From the 25 now, battle. We went through traffic, got away, and then he gets dragged down by the shoelace at the 12. First down and 10, give it to Battle a third straight time, and this time he gets boxed in. Second down and 10, gonna give it to Campbell now. 
he gets thrown to the turf. Third down and eight. Four more. Under some pressure, and he's going to get rocked in the backfield. Absolutely annihilated. That was Matt Salsa with the sack. The field goal is up. The field goal is good. We are up by eight points now. That pass going to be caught by Chris Malone, but he's going to go nowhere. Just a gain of nine. Second down in. Gain, gain of one, excuse me. It's second down and nine now, and that pass caught by Cameron Taylor. Jeff Sims almost had it, and that's going to take us to the fourth quarter. So this might here might be the biggest drive of the game. You want to start the fourth quarter with a touchdown if you're a Florida State, and you want to stop them if you're GSU. But Malone gets open, makes the catch. That's a first down. And now they run the ball with Marshall in the inside the red zone with a fresh set of 10. So from the 15, we're going to send a blitz, and we bite on the play fake. They got a man open. That's Cameron Taylor. Touchdown, Florida State. And they're going to say go for two. Play fake. Bracken lets a fly, and that pass is caught by Brooks. And there you go. There you have it. Battle. He's going to get loose. Battle. Going to get this one up to the 24-yard line, and now we're in a 27-27 tie. Four more. Looking for Ian Clark. Diving reception there. Move those chains for number 12. Former going to roll to the right. Looking for Flanagan. Now number 11 makes the catch. He gets brought down with mean intentions. But it's a gain of nine nonetheless. Going to run the option. Derek Former's going to keep it. And he has the first down. We are on the move. Can the Seminoles defense get a stop? Former looking downfield under some pressure. And John Ferguson gets in there for the sack. Second down and 20. Going to go with the direct snap. And we get brought down in the backfield by Arnold. So third down and 12. Former under pressure again and again. It's Ferguson giving chase. Can he get rid of the football in time? No, he can't, John. Ferguson gets a sack holding on the play. They were declining, and we have to send this one deep. They throw it to Jeff Sims. He plays for the Eagles of Georgia Southern, and that's a pick six. Just when he thought that FSU had all the momentum, boy, oh, boy, were you wrong. We get a pick six by Jeff Sims, and now they got James Brooks on the kick return and gets this one up to the 39-yard line. So last week, Matt Brown had a scoop and score after they hit by Chester Anderson. And now our other linebacker, Jeff Sims, has a pick six. Might be the biggest play by our defense this season. So third down and inches. They run the ball with Smith and a big fullback. And they get chopped down. Get your fullbacks involved. Steve Smith with a first down run. Then, watch out. They release the hounds and we get in there with the sack. Second down and 17. Another sack. Who let the dogs out? Back-to-back -back sacks. This time Antonio Campbell gets in there for one. We get some more pressure on the quarterback, but it doesn't matter. He throws a dart downfield caught by Cameron Taylor. Bracken looking left. Throws it to Chris Malone, and that pass falls incomplete. Second down and 10. Play fake to James Marshall. They throw the ball up top. Caught by Brooks. There were three Eagles around him. But we couldn't soar high enough to get the football, but we got Jeff Sims on an attack. He annihilates the quarterback on that play. Bracken to the end zone, caught by Cameron Taylor. The coverage was tight, but it wasn't tight enough. And that is going to make it a tie ball game again. Battle from inside his own end zone. Going to bring it out, gets past the 15, down to the 16, but no more. All we got to do is get a field goal range. Looking for Smith, who's open, and John Smith makes the catch. He's up over 200 yards receiving. Four more. Looking downfield to Ian Clark. He makes the catch, and he got that one foot in bounds, and we're in Florida State territory. From the 38, we're going to run the option. The ball is on the ground, but Campbell is there for the recovery. Loss of four in that play, but we do maintain possession. Four more going to roll right. He's going to keep it. Please don't fumble. He does as he gets spun down after a gain of 13. 12 seconds to work with. Four more. Looking for Flan again. That pass broken up. So fourth and one with nine on field goal range. Eight seconds on the clock. We're going to go for it. Four more has it. He's going to roll left. Looking for John Smith. Brings it in. Dropped with two seconds on the clock. Face mask is the call as well. Going to make it an easier field goal. The kick is up and the kick is good. 37 to 34. The biggest win. Is it the biggest win? One of the biggest wins. Maybe the biggest win in program history. Taking on a ranked Florida State team in Tallahassee is not easy. 
They were ranked in the top 10 the majority of the season. They have been, in recent years, toe-to-toe with Miami in the ACC. And in this universe, the ACC is kind of what the Big Ten SEC is as far as the winner of that will most likely represent the team in the college football playoffs or in that national championship. So the ACC has been tough. Miami is still ranked number one. Virginia has been very, very good as well. But we come to Tallahassee and we might have kicked Maybe, maybe we maybe we kicked Florida State out of the top 25. The top 25 has been crazy. Teams have been losing but still staying in there, so I don't know. But this was a huge win. It took a lot of effort by our defense. Our offense kept fighting. We had some turnovers. It was raining. It was pouring. The ball was wet. It was just an ugly game, kind of. But, hey, it was a beautiful win. So that's going to do it. I do hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. Peace, love. Hot sauce.